A muamua, which is an object that we detected in space that you believe could possibly have been extraterrestrial. When astronomers first detected Oumuamua in October 2017, the object defied explanation. Hurtling through our solar system at unprecedented speed, it didn't behave like any comet or asteroid known to science. Its peculiar shape, erratic acceleration, and unexpected trajectory ignited a firestorm of speculation. While most scientists eventually settled on a natural origin, the mystery never truly died. Now, years later, that enigma has returned, literally. According to Michio Kaku, theoretical physicist and futurist, Oumuamua has suddenly reappeared, and this time it's not alone. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The return of Oumuamua has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Advanced telescopic systems and sky mapping technologies detected not just a singular object on a familiar trajectory, but multiple entities, traveling in loose formation and exhibiting movement patterns unlike anything previously recorded. These objects, led by what astronomers believe to be the original Oumuamua, are not behaving like natural celestial bodies. They show signs of controlled acceleration, coordinated motion, and variable reflectivity suggesting a level of intentional design that starkly contrasts with the randomness of natural space debris. What makes this event even more compelling is the fact that the returning object followed a trajectory that did not align with expected gravitational paths. After exiting the solar system, it should have continued into interstellar space indefinitely, but instead, it reversed course, something impossible without an external force acting on it. This reversal implies that either Oumuamua possesses some form of propulsion, or it was redirected. Both possibilities shatter existing paradigms in astrophysics and hint at technological sophistication far beyond our own. As Kaku explained in various public discussions, this event cannot be dismissed or relegated to the realm of coincidence. The arrival of multiple unidentified interstellar objects, all sharing similar dimensions and behavior, signals a phenomenon worthy of intense scrutiny. Their presence defies natural explanations, leaving the door wide open to the possibility of artificiality. And if they are artificial, then the question arises, who or what created them? Scientists around the world have scrambled to reorient observational satellites and deep space sensors to focus on these returning bodies. The original Oumuamua, characterized by its oblong shape and puzzling acceleration, now appears even more enigmatic when viewed as part of a group. These new objects, while differing slightly in size and luminosity, share its fundamental anomalies. The synchronized movement between them suggests a fleet, a word not used lightly in astronomical contexts. If these objects are indeed a fleet, the implications are staggering. This would represent the first confirmed sighting of coordinated interstellar travel by non-Earth originating technology. Such an event would necessitate a re-evaluation of everything we believe about our place in the universe. It would mean we are not alone. And not only are we not alone, but some form of intelligence has reached out, or at least wandered close enough, to make its presence undeniable. The scientific community is now at a crossroads. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, ground-based arrays, and space-borne observatories are being tasked with collecting as much data as possible. Spectral analysis, motion tracking, and thermal imaging are all being employed to unravel the makeup of these objects. Early reports suggest material compositions not found in known comets or asteroids. Some readings indicate a highly reflective surface, not unlike polished metal. Others hint at emissions in non-visible wavelengths, infrared, ultraviolet, and even electromagnetic pulses. These pulses are particularly provocative. They are not uniform nor naturally modulated. Instead, they resemble sequences, bursts of energy separated by intervals too specific to be random. While no known language or code has been deciphered from these patterns, their persistence has inspired speculation that they could be a form of communication or signaling. If so, we may be standing at the threshold of first contact, whether or not it's intended to be mutual. This return of Oumuamua and its companions also raises historical questions. Have such objects visited Earth before, unnoticed or misidentified? Ancient texts and oral traditions often describe chariots in the sky or stars that moved against the heavens. Could these be distant echoes of earlier encounters with similar phenomena? If so, the current reappearance may not be the beginning, but a continuation, 
one that stretches across human history and possibly predates it. The geopolitical ramifications are already being felt. Major spacefaring nations have convened emergency meetings behind closed doors, speculating not only on scientific outcomes but on security implications. What does it mean for Earth's defense systems if these objects can maneuver in and out of the solar system undetected? Are they probes, messengers, or something more ominous? The lack of hostility does not guarantee benevolence, but it does suggest patience, curiosity, or an agenda beyond our comprehension. Philosophically, this development challenges the core of human identity. For millennia, we have pondered whether we are alone in the universe. Religions, cultures, and sciences have wrestled with that question, building worldviews around the assumption of solitude or expecting eventual contact. The reappearance of Oumuamua shatters the waiting game. It replaces speculation with observation. What was once a hypothetical future is now a present reality. The implications stretch beyond astronomy into every discipline – physics, biology, sociology, theology. If these objects are artificial, then they were made. And if they were made, then there are makers. These makers, by virtue of the technology required to construct and launch such interstellar vessels, would be vastly older or more advanced than humanity. Their science would likely render many of our most cherished theories obsolete, just as quantum mechanics and relativity once upended Newtonian physics. Even the mere observation of such technology could provide us with knowledge far ahead of our current development. Just as ancient people reverse-engineered nature to create fire, tools, and agriculture, modern humanity might one day decipher propulsion methods, energy sources, or communication systems by studying these visitors. The potential for technological leapfrogging is immense, offering promises of clean energy, deep space travel, and unimaginable computational power. Public response has been a mixture of awe and apprehension. Social media platforms are ablaze with speculation, artistic interpretations, and doomsday predictions. While governments have remained measured in their public statements, leaks and off-the-record comments hint at a growing urgency to understand what is approaching, or rather what has returned. Some see it as a herald of an era of contact. Others fear it signals surveillance or judgment. Amid all this uncertainty, one fact remains unassailable. This is not a natural return. Nothing in the known mechanics of gravity or momentum can account for an object leaving the solar system and then re-entering it with companions. There is no plausible explanation rooted in randomness or coincidence. The pattern is too structured. The timing is too perfect. The scale is too precise. The event forces a re-examination of previous anomalies as well. Astronomers have begun combing through archival data, searching for patterns or sightings that might now be understood differently. Minor fluctuations in light, previously dismissed as sensor errors or mundane eclipses, are being re-evaluated in this new context. What was once noise may now be signal. Patterns might emerge that were previously too subtle to recognize. Educational institutions are preparing for a surge in interest. Courses in astrobiology, interstellar physics, and exoplanetary sociology are being updated to reflect this seismic shift. Students are no longer studying the theoretical potential for life beyond Earth. They're analyzing what may be its first manifestations. Universities and think tanks are assembling interdisciplinary teams to assess the implications, not just scientifically, but ethically and culturally. Cultural reactions are already manifesting in art, literature, and film. This isn't just an astronomical event, it's a civilizational pivot point. Humanity has long used imagination to fill the void left by cosmic silence. Now that silence has been broken, not with a roar, but with a slow, deliberate return. And the presence of multiple objects moving with intent and symmetry adds a layer of solemnity to what might otherwise have been a mere curiosity. There is also a growing awareness that this might not be an isolated incident. If Oumuamua and its counterparts are probes or scouts, then they could be part of a larger network, perhaps a civilization's method of mapping, monitoring, or even seeding star systems. The concept of panspermia, the idea that life might be distributed through space via intelligent design, suddenly gains renewed traction. These visitors might not merely observe, they might influence, deliberately or not, the evolutionary trajectory of life on planets like Earth. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Oumuamua returning? 
Do you expect alien contact? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.